New Zealand offers so much for its recreational boaties, from its pristine lakes, venturing up crystal clear rivers, fishing and cruising its expansive stretches of ocean with stunning coastline and many bays. Enjoyed each year by thousands of recreational boaties, both above and below the water in a natural environment. But before heading out onto the water, we need to think about the safety of ourselves, our friends and family we take on the water. We need to be aware of the five simple rules of the Boating Safety Code. Make sure everyone on board is wearing a life jacket. Your responsibilities as a skipper. Ensure you have the means to communicate if you get into trouble. Always check the marine weather forecast before you go out. Alcohol and safe boating do not mix. You need to be alert and aware. The first rule of the Boating Safety Code is everyone on board should be wearing a life jacket. Boats, especially ones under 6 metres in length, can sink very quickly. In the event of any sinking or capsize, wearing a life jacket will increase your survival time in the water. If you're not wearing your life jacket, it can't save your life. Life jackets are the single most important piece of safety equipment on any recreational vessel. There are many different brands and types of life jacket, also known as a PFD or personal flotation device. They come in a variety of styles, colours and materials. Some are designed to be more rugged and last longer, while others are made to protect you from cold water. No matter what type of life jacket you choose, be sure to get the one that's right for you, your planned activities and the water conditions you expect to encounter. Remember, spending a little time now choosing the right life jacket that suits your needs could save your life or the life of a loved one later. The skipper is the person responsible for the safe operation of the boat and the safety for all those on board. The skipper should have a clear understanding of rules and safe boating operation. They should stay within the limits of their vessel and their experience. Always be prepared, be informed, be alert and communicate with your crew. Always let someone know your plans and when you expect to be back. Trouble at sea can happen very quickly. It can happen anywhere, at any time and to anyone. It doesn't matter how experienced you are. If you can't call for help, then no one can rescue you. So follow the third rule of the Boating Safety Code. All boaties should carry on them at least two means of communications, such as a VHF or handheld radio, a cell phone protected from water, an EPIRB distress beacon or PLB, flares, a waterproof torch. New Zealand's weather can be highly unpredictable and changeable, so rule number four of the Safe Boating Code is always check the marine weather forecast. Your safety is your responsibility. Never go out on the water without checking the marine forecast. Keep an eye on the weather in the days leading up to your trip. Watch for changes. If you're in doubt, don't go out. When at sea, listen to weather forecasts on the public or marine radio. Many areas are covered by Coast Guard's Nowcasting Service, which is a continuous marine and weather forecast. It's on VHF channels 20, 21, 22 and 23. Safe boating and alcohol don't mix. Things can change so quickly on the water, you need to stay alert and aware. So rule number five is avoid alcohol. Water activities and drinking are as lethal a mix as drinking and driving. Just like the decisions you make behind the wheel of a car, the decisions you make on the water affect your own as well as other people's lives. Alcohol impaired boaties often make wrong decisions. They attempt tasks that are beyond their abilities and when things go wrong, often make decisions that don't contribute to their or anyone else's survival. You should undertake a Coast Guard education course to improve your boating skills. New Zealand's outdoors environments are to be enjoyed but if care isn't taken on the water, things can go from good to bad very quickly. Remember the boating safety code when planning your next trip on the water. Make sure everyone on board is wearing a life jacket. Remember your responsibilities as a skipper. Make sure you have at least two means to communicate if you get into trouble. Check the marine weather forecast before you go out. Leave the alcohol at home for when you get back. Remember the boating safety code when planning your next trip on the water. This way, your trip will be safer and more enjoyable.